Huh? A roll. No, I'm bald. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm but, not going bald. <laughs> I know, but did you? But you still had some stuff res, residue of hair. Residue. residue. Yeah. yeah, you had residue. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You could have done I, a I, Chernobyl uh, thing that you were doing. But. I had... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you didn't. You just had to shave it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Are we going right now? Yeah, no, we, we don't. We, there's no there's no rules, but I'm, okay, just, okay. I'm just asking you a question. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to answer. I, I understand that. But why are you? Your head looks like, you know, um, Darth Vader when he took his fucking helmet off. Was, <laughs> remember that? When he was just all fucked up? Yeah. 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 What? Is that, is that the. Uh, that's fine. You're Bill Burr, but. Uh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. Yeah, go ahead. I just process you coming out of the gate <laughs> shitting on me. Um, yeah. You know, when you start to lose your hair, you, you got three options. <laughs> yeah. You can. <laughs> yeah. And there's subsets to all of them. All right. Okay. You can do the Rogaine, the hair plugs, right. the system, a fucking, all of that. Oh, Propecia. Propecia, right. a fucking, uh, they glue some shit on your head. <laughs> right. They take some some of your pube hair and you get an afro. Yeah. Or you can uh, just sort of let it happen. Which you were doing, which I was like, that's the dope way to do it. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad I had your approval. <laughs> or you can just say, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And do what I did. So I just said, fuck it. Okay. But what and, you- and, and, and I do like, you- I love how you came at me aggressive, and now you're going. You got your, pan- <laughs> your little panda hands. I was. Up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I love how you attacked my little panda hands. Uh, that's Let what me, you I- look like. You look like a little panda. <laughs> I know. I was just because when you took your shirt, uh, <laughs> hat like off. a little adolescent bear. <laughs> I was actually texting with Bill when I was, uh, you know, I was going through my recent problems. You know what? When you were coming blood. No. <laughs> Down in the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, when he you know, was, he started spewing blood a little trouble, bit. Trouble, you know, they call me Yanni Nets in the show because they feel like oh, we got to put out. nets behind because I keep pa- I almost passing out yeah. on stage. We'll have those nets out November 9th, Gramercy Theater. Yeah, we'll put the nets out <laughs> yeah. or, or Mike emoji behind me in case I fall yeah, after my set. Yeah. He'll be, yeah. So I told Mikey you, yeah, I, I passed, you know, and, and Comedy Connection, I canceled my whole weekend. I got off stage. I was doing. Yeah, I had but, to call your wife. Yeah, and I was still struggling with this when I was doing uh, Mohegan Sun at a comics. Yeah. And I, and I spoke to Bill, and it was just so nice to speak to somebody older and like you know. And Anytime he goes, he's lying. Yeah, I'm not lying. What do you? Th- I, had to... I don't know what that is. It means older, older and wiser, wiser, been there, further ahead in the career. Let's be oh, clear. further. Let's yeah. be clear. <laughs> Kid moves fucking. Tickets. I mean, the kid's fucking barely selling out bananas. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I've, I've almost, I sold it out once, and I haven't been uh, since I put down the wig. I haven't been asked yeah, back. I got asked to give money back to cops in San Francisco. <laughs> That's how bad I did. Oh, I got sent home. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got sent home. Uh, <laughs> uh, Punchline, Sacramento. I just, hey, Bill, come on in That's the office. I'm like, oh, ooh, they're really impressed with my new hour. They're like, yeah, Bill, uh, Sunday ain't happening. We're gonna, we're gonna send you home. How would you like to get on a plane right after your show? I got yeah. one of those. Yes, yeah. I got demoted from headliner down to feature act the first time I uh, <laughs> headlined at the Trop in fucking Vegas. <laughs> I, and I, oh, I, the chick I was seeing, I flew her out to see me, my big headlining. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the way you love a child and your idea what they are, I mean, give the guy a minute to fucking process it. Where it's just like, you know, if I just met that person, and they said, hey, yeah, hi, I'm transitioning, blah, 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 blah. I could, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, whatever. But then, you know, then there's other levels. If I worked with you for fucking five years, and all of a sudden you, Joey, were becoming Josephina, there's going to be a period of, of <laughs> what, what? What the, f- and it's all the conversation we have, and pro- how did I never see that, blah, blah, blah. Wherever you are on that whole spectrum of dealing with it is what you ha- you should be allowed to go through. I mean, the guy is not like, um, you, you know, he's just, he's not there yet. And I just don't see how putting the guy in prison is going to like uh, solve, like he's going to go to jail and be like, oh, now I'm open-minded. <laughs> now I got it. Now I'm empathetic. I get it. There's something about coming in here and having to make a shank out of my toothbrush and try not get raped in the ass that I now understand this. We discovered that there's this a- This is the weirdest story anybody's ever said on like, the <laughs> podcast that like made me uncomfortable. From the beginning, too. No, it's the serial killer like 
tone of his his complete lack of emotion. Thank you. Can I tell <laughs> you something? This happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what? And I know Bill. The only thing missing from that story is the sound of somebody gagged, screaming in the other room. Right. Now I know that you. Oh, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I know that you suspect that my husband is a psycho. I've heard. I've heard about. No, this. he is. Yeah. No, I know, and I. I actually agree. Is. Yeah. And I've been trying to prove this on this show for He's a long time. He's just like you know, there's like Bud and there's Bud Light. There's like Psycho and Psycho Light. Like he just yeah. he's not the uh, the high calorie one that can't get married and have kids. That's right. Yes, <laughs> but if you if his thoughts were a movie. Yep. Yeah, definitely NC seventeen. Yep, he's a functioning psychopath. Yeah. Jesus you know why? Because when I started yeah. dating him, Bill, and this is a true story, when I started dating Tom Segura back in 05, there were red flags, little stuff, like <laughs> when we were, remember? Little, little dead animals behind no. your uh, apartment <laughs> building? <Not> that. <laughs> but I remember, you know, in the beginning, you're all lovey-dovey, and uh, and he'd be like, I, li- I, li- I like you so much. I like you so much. I just want to gouge your eyes out. I want to squish your face and kill you and, and put a sledgehammer in your head. Like, he re- remember that me. stuff, Tom? You're like, I love you so much. I just want to smash your goddamn head in. <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah. No, there's, I, somebody said that about my kid one time. Oh, my God, look at those feet. I just want to cut them off. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking lunatics. Yeah, yeah, right there. You can't you can't be with a person like that. So well, if, I, you, I ever, am, if, if you ever need a safe house, <laughs> <laughs> we got a guest room. <laughs> Well, I'm two kids deep now. I think I used to say, like, I want to put your head through that dresser. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, as an expression of love. Right. Yeah. And there were other things, too. Like, it's because you don't like love and you hate that it makes you feel weak or something <laughs> that you want to violently take it out on yeah, her. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, it worked out. It did, actually. Were you frustrated that you knew you had no control over the love that you had for your Ooh, wife? So then, good, then you just you were starting to feel trapped? I think it was more of like, I, like that. I didn't know how to express how good I felt, you know? Yeah. So I thought... No. That, <laughs> yeah. No. I, he really uh, just tried, he tried to play like dim-witted there. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, I, see, that's how I fell cold, for it. calculated... Yeah. You're everything you need to be to make in this business. <laughs> yeah. You just yes. can't be creative and just be floating around like, oh, that tickles my artistic fantasy. You have to have a plan. Okay. Yeah, but thank God. Because if I didn't, I'd be, I can't imagine trying to make a living as an actor. And, and even though I work, they don't pay actors anymore. You know, I, it would have been, no, I would have gone, gone crazy. Well, I, I don't want to discourage crazy. anybody that's thinking about doing it. Well, you have to do, you have to, the same way you get into stand up or get into anything, you have to do it because you love it. Yeah. And then if you love it, you'll have a passion and you will stick with it despite what's going on. Yeah. But uh, if you don't love it, it's being a comedian or an actor oh. or being in construction. I Not got in construction you. and I didn't love it, dude. I lasted eight days. It was, it was one of the <laughs> worst. Too. Eight, eight days. Too. Me too. Eight days, dude. I've never been that fucking exhausted. I was just a oh. grunt. I remember I, I couldn't make enough sandwiches. I would be eating three sandwiches for lunch and I was still losing Starf. weight. Still losing weight. Uh, we were roofing in July. Oh, uh, and yeah, as a redhead, and I was just. I, so I, mean, I, I remember the, 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 my favorite part of the, that fucking job in the eight days was we had to do. You know, you snap the chalk line for, uh, to line the thing up on the board. We were doing it in the basement of the house that was all fucking dirt, and it was actually cool down there. <laughs> and we were redoing this house, and I remember I'm hanging outside an unfinished window. Sticking the thing up, making the scaffolding for this Irish guy who kept going, Billy, you must work quicker. <laughs> and I was like, listen, man, I never put one of these fucking things up before. You want me to go faster? I'll go faster. And he's like, ah, oh, you're fucking shite. <laughs> and right over the fence was this house with a pool. And it was summer vacation. There was kids like my age. And you could see it was like the quarterback of the football team, these hot chicks and all that. That's my whole life. And they would, I remember one time the kid was just up and just looking up my at me. And life. I was just going, what the fuck am I doing with my, I have my whole life oh, dude. to fucking be miserable. Oh. I should be doing what that, I mean, dude, they were just like, like, That's and, a and, and because thing. they were so good looking, you could tell they were popular. He didn't have one ounce of guilt. Like me, if I stretched out, I would have looked at him and been like, I would have like started cleaning the pool. I would have felt guilty. This guy had no guilt. He did everything but just sit there drinking iced tea and give me the little toodaloo. I think it's not for me. Dude, there was a guy on the construction site too. He wore the same jeans every day and he had no underwear on and there was a giant <laughs> hole right to the left of his fucking junk where, where the pocket should be. And I remember one point I was bent down picking something up and he stepped over something and the hole moved like Dick. just like like junk and went back. And I remember standing up like, even like, but he was the brother of the guy I was working for. I just like, want to be like, dude, you, 
You want to put some fucking give me something, some evil Knievel fucking underwear, something, something on, under roots, something, bro. something, wrap something. it up. How, Just how when about, you didn't think you'd get any worse. Fucking duct tape, dude. I'll never. He just <laughs> stepped right over, and you know, I thought it was weird then, but now, like, you know, with all the information now about yeah. fucking weird, like, like I thought he was he was getting he was getting off on something, man. Like, like that's just fucking weird. Hey boys, look at <laughs> yeah, this. That's, that's weird. fucking yeah. That's weird. And as not fuck. in like a gay way. I no. just think in general he was just like oh, a weird bird. Yeah, sort of peeing on his territory. Like, <laughs> hey, don't forget who you're working for. It's my junk. dick. Here you go. Dick in your face. <laughs> Here's my situation. You fucking you yeah. fucking prepubescent college boy. Oh, dude. I mean, that was it was so fucking shocking. Like, if I sat down with a police sketch artist, <laughs> I think I could still fucking I could get it about eighty. Just um, try it. Just do, there's an idea. The chocolate one, and then do the green one. I and will then be fine. I'm excited. I will. Yeah, but you gotta not. Dude, order. I'm telling you. Then you I'm just start. If you start well. eating well, next the fat has nowhere to hide. It just <laughs> right, doesn't. Right. It just. It's like it's just over. All right, you come back on this show, and I'm gonna be skinny, and I'm gonna call it the Bi- the the Bill Burr. Ethan's no longer fat. No, here's the thing. I I gave you like literally. I just scraped the surface. Okay, and what you want to do is get a nutritionist. Do not yeah. listen to your listeners who's going to be actually the dude doing these studies <laughs> about almond milk and all. And there's going to be a zillion things. That, so you're, yeah. that's why I got a nutritionist because if you go on and you try to learn yourself on the internet and you don't mm-hmm. know what you're doing, just the first like three pages are all dominated <laughs> by evil food people <laughs> yeah. where it's just like no you're not like, you're not getting away and it's just yeah. and then trying to it's like trying to give money to a charity right. how the fuck right. do i know that this is yeah. a legit true. one so true. how do i know and it's just so okay i think i do need to get a nutritionist <laughs> i agree but i you know i try to diet where i got a personal trainer and she's like i want you to eat high fat ground beef cheese avocado i was like are you sure this is gonna make me lose weight? Yeah, that what? And then it's what? Like, it's like the uh, no. Yeah, you shit out of fucking. <laughs> I was like, what's your blog? I was like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no. Like, what is that? That's, that's the uh, the keto. Well, the keto. keto. I, I think saying. that what they do is a lot of those personal trainers. What they have is they have down to like a formula, how to have you do like a Biggest Loser weight drop mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like how to quickly just cut things down yeah. and look amazing blah blah yeah i don't like i really that's it's not, not sustainable yeah you can't that's not I, yeah she yeah. scared the hell out of me when she was like Geez. everything you just said i'm like how is this going to move through my body <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah what what is the lubricant where <laughs> yeah, is the okay. pot? what is going to get me <laughs> oh well that, you, you drink a stick of butter <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know there's a lot of lies about nutrition, but that that just goes too far. Yeah, I think we all can understand. Just take a the, handful uh, of raw bacon yeah. and, and dunk it in butter juice, and then suck that down. It's just like, all right, you sure? Everything was a lie that you yeah. were told. It's just like, all right, it's just like this is either 100 percent right or I'm going to Jonestown. Uh, so that might, and I don't know anything about that diet, but I found what what I've been doing has been working from you. Okay, so I like try it, it out. Yeah. It's get the, yourself a being a health. Dis- healthy reasonable human being diet where it's like so i could you know i was 19 i'm freshman sophomore so i was acting like an idiot we'll also doing up. a couple cycles of winstrel yeah i was on time. winstrel at the time yeah he did a couple um, cycles it's, what are you gonna do yeah so a little steroids so uh um, thank you yeah yeah that was. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. steroids so, for basketball yeah well, I was just you could move i mean i could just you know i could like tomahawk dunk i, I was just like an at a- being an athlete basketball was such a huge part of my life that my friends you know when I do comedy, if they you know do something with comedy, my friends from home, wait, they you came. couldn't dunk, and then you took roids, and then you could. No, I always could. I always could. Well, I couldn't always. I started being able to dunk when I was like sixteen. I did Winstrel once for like six weeks, so it was a small part of it. it you did a cycle. I did a cycle. Did a yeah. cycle. Yeah, just happens. one cycle. Yeah, happens. And to be honest with you, when I did that cycle, I was my junior year in college. It was my worst year because I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and all bullshit from. Your balls Side shriveling up? <laughs> yeah, all that. You could go between the legs a little easier that year. Yeah, my balls With the anxiety. Shriveling. But I, um, it was just the way to communicate. I love that you felt at Division Three. I got to get on roids. I need, I need a competitive edge here. Yeah. We got to beat LaSalle Academy next week. Yeah. yeah. When you can talk about, oh, can you believe this guy said that about someone on a podcast? And it just becomes like... Uh, you know, yeah. You My rule became you guys. You guys don't have this luxury. You have to like have discipline and like do like do jokes and those are gonna involve the rest of the world. But my rule became because I'm babbling. I had to, to go. Okay, it's at the end of my nose where all the you know I, I can confess. I can talk about anything. No one's. It's not gonna be clickbait if I talk about 
sticking stuff up my butt when I'm jerking off, or or like like you know. What are you sticking your butt when you jerk off? I I can't you can't brush over that. <laughs> yeah, bad scripts. 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 He didn't like people's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> people's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fancy. I'm like a Sam Shepard play. Um, do you take I, those little uh, brass clips out of there before you do it, or is that, is that an added Christmas bonus for you? People's dreams. Yeah. Um, a Sharpie pen, Jim Norton. A Sharpie pen. Like, uh, Have you really? Yeah, I tried it because I read, I read a Playboy article about the prostate getting stimulated and stuff, and so I tried a Sharpie pen. But and, and then you put I, some hand sanitizer on it or something first, or just find a pen and put I, it up I, I, there? That, that pen is the thing that got dirty, not me. Like, <laughs> like, cap on or uh, cap off? Uh, it was well, it was the it was the end. That's why I picked it. Cause Shit, I was like, like oh, an octopus just... afterwards. <laughs> I don't want that. The, the Where'd he go? Squirting ink. <laughs> the cap is designed to be like a grappling hook. You wouldn't want to actually put that uh, up, up there. Like, just hooks on. Just yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> hey, you know, you always learn. That's why you like got to L.A., Jim. You got to learn shit yeah, out yeah. <laughs> But uh, So a, a pe- did you like it or did you not like it? Well, it, it was fine <laughs> enough. I mean, something in your butt is better than something not in your butt, sure. I guess, is what we find out. But the problem is, is it worth, like, so then you finish orgasming and you're you got to go back to Staples. And now, and now I'm like, <laughs> now you're 30. There's traffic. They have to gingerly pull a pen out of your asshole. You're like, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth this moment. I was just saying he needed more sharps. <laughs> Did like, you go in? No, we're still going. No, I didn't go in for that. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm actually going up? You think he got offered that? He's fucking Johnny Depp. I know, man. but I figured, you know, they'd be like, it's Bill Burr. Fucking, let's take a look. It's Bill Burr. He sells no movie tickets. <laughs> let's try it out. <laughs> he sold out an improv. Hey, didn't you have a clip from uh, Bill's show? Oh, is this here? I don't know. Our Netflix producer approved. sends us folders of shit. I don't know. This is it. What is this? Black guys who love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Have a deal, man. Is that from your show? <laughs> no, I'm just fascinated by that guy. <laughs> That's about as free as it gets. I mean, he just doesn't care if his mother sees that or. I mean, you know. <laughs> He, free, know, free he, knows, he knows what he wants. Is that a bow in his hair? Or is that just some shit in the <laughs> no, background? I think that's the background. <laughs> Dude, he, he gave Do out his address. Do you want free rent, though? Like, you uh-huh. get free rent. You get free food. You, the reason why he's alone is he, <laughs> he suffocates you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very needy. Very I needy. I need to be fucked. I need to be fucked a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. Uh, he sounds like, you know, if you were into that, that he'd be enjoyable for about two, three days. <laughs> oh, it would tire you out. Yeah. yeah. Men from jail, homeless, or um, <laughs> you're a thug, you want to come move in. A friend can move with you too, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. <laughs> Piss on me, beat me, I'm home right now. You see me, you want to come over today and try it out, try it out, man. Try it out. What do you think? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think what happened. He definitely was not built up as a child. No. no. You know, you all that stuff, beat me, pee on me, and all that, it's just like your parents were just... I think this whole childhood were just yelling, you're not good enough. Yeah, it's probably I'm disappointing bad. you. I yeah. wish the kid across the street was my son and not you. Yeah, it's horrible, horrible shit yeah. like that. I, I feel yeah. bad for that guy. I know, but however, at the same time, it's funny. However, yeah, but you know what's funny is like he so hates himself that he just fucking he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you get like, there's no, how does he have a job? Like, what do you mean rent free? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. is, does he drive like a UPS truck and like they, they're going to see that and be like, well, you know, he. he what he does on his own time, he's not uh... <laughs> But we can't give him any black eye partners, though. That'd be no. too yeah, Just, have him, just too deli- have him deliver in the white neighborhood yeah, so sure. <laughs> we keep that side of him. Uh... Oh, my God. What do you God. think about drug use? What do you think is going yeah, on Yeah, I think he's a little high. Yeah, those those, uh, those rings around the eyes are pretty serious, I think. But that's such yeah. a crazy mustache that if he shaved that off, I don't think I'd recognize him. It True. is a. Cr- I didn't even really think about the yeah. mustache. It's a good point. Very Cheech it's, Marin. Yeah, yeah, it's like dated. It's very it dated is. look. And if he wants to attract them, I'm gonna fuck a piss. Let me try it out. Seriously, applied only as fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. I want to do it. <laughs> I mean it. I want to deliver it. I'm a hot <laughs> fuck, white trash. Come dump. Let's fuck. True. It's a good offer. Rent free. He's a hot cum dumpster. Yeah, he's got a lot going on. <laughs> try <laughs> like. <laughs> Doesn't he have enough pain in his life? He's got to be on this show, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you 
wasn't that wasn't that wasn't like low hanging fruit. That was actually <laughs> If you did that in a movie, if that was the character, you would be nominated because that, that was an amazing performance. It was I actually, uh, what, I, what I was kind of addicted to was his cadence. Yeah. The way he, yeah. he had a very unique way of saying, He's 40. Almost, no, no, no. Now he's 40. But yeah. when those came out, he's mid 30s. Oh, yeah. With doing that crazy shit. Oh, you mean putting a, a, a blindfold on, smoking a cigarette, and letting bulls? The rest like, of them were younger. Run them over. Oh, those, yeah, oh my God. The rest of them were way younger. So it's like, all right, couple crazy kids. Fuck. Nah, man. Chuck Knoxville's damn no, near I got 37. All of those guys were fucking lunatics. Some of the shit that they did, even just little things. They like, do you ever remember that baby turtle? And the thing's <laughs> opening his mouth, and, it, and that dude just stuck his nose in, and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, there's, there's no fucking way. Crazy because shit. Because you never know. Like, what if it just clips the end of your nose and just takes that it's off? It's on. Well, yeah. what about, what about, I said to Steve, I go, what scares you the most? He goes, I mean, anything that usually anything with venomous snakes or big cats. Uh, oh, did you? What was it the yeah. Wild Boys? Is that what it called? Yeah, where he, who, yeah, he, the Wild they, Boys. They dressed with, up with like the... fucking a zebra in a lion's cage. But they had homeboy the. Yeah, and he said he took. He he told me one time they they took headgear that you wear in, in boxing. Yeah. Just sparring, and he wrapped that around his neck, and like they just were sort of running along. It's not I was like, you me. had to have somebody with a gun. You know, Steve was like, ah, nah. <laughs> right, they're, they're just, crazy. Like, guys are... Well, they had a King Cobra. They put the guy in a fucking, in a, a, a horse, I think it was a like a stable. Who was the other kid? I, Dan I know, Marger. Right? No, no, Dan... on, on the wild, wild. Oh, uh, Chris Pontus. Pontonus. Pontus, yeah. Pontus, yeah. Dude, Pontus, yeah. he kissed a cobra on its head. Yeah, man. The thing was full fucking doing this he... thing and like looking at them and he came up like behind the thing. And he and he, he kissed it on the head and then backed off and did that whole <laughs> yeah, <he's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. fucking runs yeah. away. I'm like, that is fucking insane. They a cobra how, bite, how a cobra bite to the famous. face, you're gonna die. That's a bad situation. Well, well, Steve O's still doing crazy shit and he's but back then he was on drugs and stuff. Yeah. Now he's sober and he's taking the show on the road, still doing crazy shit. Dude, he did, sober. That one, the other kid, Chris, he did one time, like he just he wanted to get a snake tattoo. Everybody gets a tattoo of a snake. <laughs> So he goes like, "That's you know, we want. I want to have a snake bite, and then get a tattoo of the bite." So there was like this fucking python God. laying there, and he just he just starts. I, I gotta act this out because you got the fucking camera. He just starts walking towards it like, <laughs> like this, and the fucking thing strikes and like wasn't aiming for his arm and went just did a glancing shot off his head, <laughs> and he backed off. He's like, uh, uh, and he goes back in and just. Fed his arm to this fucking thing. It just goes Dude. down, grabs onto oh. him, and then it's just around him. And it's just like these guys just pulling this fucking snake off him. And then while it was still bleeding, they just, yeah, they did a tattoo of it. Oh, God They're insane, damn. man. Yeah, They're it was nuts. nuts. They're nuts. I don't know what a quip is. So, so a new toothbrush. Oh, you know what? You look, you're looking to write a prescription. I feel like this is the end of a therapy <laughs> session. I'm going to send you a quip, okay? Huh? Just let me say What is one. a quip? It's a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's really good. It's a fancy, really fancy one. one. Please, it's like on it. me. You, know, you, know, you can fucking throw it. You try it yeah. out. Is know? this how you handle your relationships when people... What I was just should have bitched about something bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate my car. You just sitting in on it. Let me get you a car. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been with your lovely wife for how long? How long have you guys been together? Uh, I don't know, like 14, 15 years. It's fucking, yeah, it's a good run. I love um, her more than ever. Oh, see? She's the yeah, best. Yeah, fucking happy. She's the I, best. It's nice. I know. It's refreshing. I, I hate when people hate their spouses. But you can always. Yeah. I, I bitch about her on stage, but I, I love her. Yeah. Yeah. I do. No, but you meant it. I fucking saw that bit, and you meant it. All right, don't yell at me. So... <laughs> You can put my head through the dresser <laughs> because I love you. See? <laughs> now, you're always looking for ways to spice it up. Every relationship is. I was don't, wondering. Don't do that to me. I'm wondering. Okay, if that's what you're looking to do, don't say that I am. You will consider something different. Hi, Melanie. And I'm Scotty O. With Ecstatic Hearts Tantra. And we just want to share that there are many ways to orgasm. Mm -hmm. You don't actually have to be having sex, mm. you can't orgasm just from hugging. Mm. You know what's funny is they like if you switch their hair they could be each other. <laughs> <laughs> they look just like each other. Robert Kelly's and all that they all call you Billy. Colin calls you Billy. 
but I fucking bill. You I'm know just what I mean? immediately noticing. Uh, I don't know about the chain if it's if it's <laughs> yeah. thick enough to be yeah. that war- that level of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, well, but well, it's the more cha- of a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> when the chain's out, yeah, I see, just, see, he has on a fat chick ankle bracelet around yeah, his I fucking see. neck. No, yeah. I, say, I say guy when the chain's out. Yeah, when okay. the chain's out. Yeah, but he does make a good point. It's not it's really not, a chain. It's more of an ankle bracelet on a big Well, girl. yeah, my kid's mom was like, why are you wearing women's jewelry? Yeah. I was like, shut up. Well, here's the thing. His mom yeah. bought him for that and he uh, like oh, for high school. Well, and then he found it in his room and yeah. he put it back on. My, I'm saying his face, it's too much Guido when it comes out. No, you know what it is? You've, you've aged past that chain where it becomes a necklace. If you're like right. 18, I get it. This is his first right. one. Yeah. A yeah. relative bought it for him. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I'm talking about where they're like the the morbidly obese uh, runway modeling, and you're like, but we're beautiful, and you're like, mm, I don't think. No, so. No, I think if I you're gonna know. be in a movie, you should be. And if you're gonna get naked yes. on film and yeah. TV and movie, you should be in the best fucking Stunning. shape you could possibly be. Yeah. Or. You go the other way for the laugh, right. but you're doing it for the laugh. But like to to sit there and just show off an unworked out body and say that that's brave. Right. It's uh, like the the bravery is the person who has to look at it. Yeah. Because listen, we all look at each other's fucking regular bodies. You know, it, when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Because you love the other person. Right. You you have to yeah. love somebody. Right. You know what I mean? That's what's amazing about beautiful people is you're not in love with them, but you can see them naked. Right, like, right. That's how, yeah. that's, that's, that's really in shape. Right. I mean, I know. The whole idea is like... No one wants people, to see me naked. You know, I joke. You know what well, I look like naked? I look like... I have the exact same body as the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a big head and it's just straight down, no ass. And then I have like... Like the Pink Panther was like first oh. trimester. <laughs> yeah. Like... And but there was but we live in an age though that if I was completely naked I would be called brave yeah, and courageous yeah. rather than fucking rude yeah. and inconsiderate yeah. to make you guys look at me. Oh yes. yeah, I mean I've been asked to I mean be uh, shirtless. I'm like it's disgusting. Like is it for cuz it's funny? Cuz if it's going to be funny that's one thing, but like it's, yeah, like I, know I, w- that it's I would gross. do it if if like it can I act like I think I'm good looking, right, right. Then right. I would do it, right. But if I'm gonna do it, like yeah, man, Serious. this is my body, deal with yeah. it, and and oh and and God. literally no. put the pressure on you to not laugh at me and ridicule me is I am living in such a world of fucking delusionment. I don't have any fucking pigment. Yeah, just for me, no matter what shape I got into, to take my shirt off, I would be blinding people. Right. Yeah. yeah you're it's just so. Wild. It's just, well, and that's but, but I have I have other things that I'm good at. Right. Sure. Okay. So you're the non-binary comedian. Very good. Very yeah. sure. good. Okay, here's another Performing one. Performing in Irvine. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, they didn't mention I'm going to be wearing a dress. Yes. Please. <laughs> okay. Would you rather? Everywhere you go, you have to run to get there. I'm out on that. I don't, I don't even care what the next one is. My back can't take it. It's literally like you go to the next room in your house to say like something a five to your wife. Old. No, yeah. exactly. No. Always running. It's Never stretching. Time. Just always running. Right. You always have to, you have to run if to somebody, Irvine. If someone knocks on your front door, you have to run there. You have to run on stage. Heavy you always feet. Run. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what this is. Or join ISIS. <laughs> All right, ISIS. <laughs> Let's get those fucking infidels. Or every time you speak, you're shouting. So you're basically a toddler. Like you're just you're full screaming, volume full shouting. Vo- like right Will now. Will it hurt my voice to do it? Of course, it? yes. Yeah, a little painful. bit. Yeah. Of course. It's uh, not fun. Neither of these are going to be fun. But you have to go like the phoning. <laughs> Hello! Yeah, like that. You you always you say you say everything in that range. Yeah, and your stand up too. I found a long. loophole. <laughs> I find a loophole. What's the loophole? loophole? I would just ignore people. Oh. So then I wouldn't have to talk to them. And then they, when they, I just wait till they say my name 10 times. And I'd be like, what? So it made sense. It's the loophole. Because you need, loophole. you, you, you yeah. need your health. Good. You need your health. And my, my, my body would just hurt so much what if I did your, that. your sweet wife who you love? Be like, Bill, you got to go, yeah. And then she's like, do you think you can take our daughter to the park? You're like, yeah. And then your sweet daughter. Yeah, but here. I could explain to her. I have an affliction. <laughs> Ignore the tone of my voice. I love you more than life itself. You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I'd love to go to the movies, <laughs> but you're gonna have to do the purchase. <laughs> he can't whisper during the movie. Yeah, he yeah. can. He can shout it. He's <laughs> one of my favorite actors. Yeah, definitely. He could do it. I think the wife did it. 
Can you get some more popcorn? Yeah, but I actually, because that, that would be fun. Once yeah. my wife was into it, I would just be totally quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and you're know, having sex. You like that? <laughs> you feel so good. <laughs> It would wear on her. <laughs> I think the bit would wear on her after a while. You no, I, I, I would just duct tape a pillow around my my oh, mouth. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so it then it'd be all like... right. <laughs> it's still it's still not sexy. No, no, so, <laughs> that brain this is hurts. terrible. <laughs> the back of my head hurts. But but if you run everywhere, you'd be in great shape. There you go. And you can maintain your your human relationships. Yeah, you wouldn't yell at. But anybody. it's it's as simple as like you have to go piss in the middle of the night. <laughs> Yeah, but they, but they, <laughs> no, but I would be miserable. I would start yelling at people because y- your body can't take that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a lot. Yeah, but you get used to it. What do you mean? You begin in fantastic shape. That's right. I used to say. I think you start singing a song right there. That would have been perfect. <laughs> you think so? That the Louis changed the world <laughs> song. I had this really bad habit from uh, just growing up in the '70s in the Midwest. Like when I was in the edit bay working on Community as late as 2010, I would say. Oh, uh, take that back. Uh, let's what's the see the scene. Ah, that's gay. Get rid of that. Like I was still I was still doing that. I kind of had to like. There's been a there was a sea change during these last like five years. Like I I like had to up uh, because I and then I found out what it was. Is I shouldn't be saying that anyway. But I found out the editor was gay, and and oh, realized I had been nonstop using that word just to mean like lame, shitty, dumb, lame, yeah, lame retarded. Stinks, you know. Yeah. Um, and so and then I I apologized to him and then. His the way he accepted the apology broke my heart because it was like he was a because he was like yeah that word just reminds me of a lot of stuff you know is and it was like oh god like, that yeah, really like, thing about gay though it's like it used to mean happy and I was one really happy right sure. and I, you never heard them complain when it got hijacked like the really happy people didn't like protesting <laughs> people was like hey wait a minute <laughs> yeah that, that word used to meant we're really enjoying our yeah. day well, so you re- guys turned around and took it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you got to find like, you know, what fascinates me is like basically the first 16 or 17 years of my life when I never, I mean, I took a couple of sips of my, you know, stole a beer here there for my dad, but I never really went out and tried to get drunk until I was like 16 or 17. But I went for like a decade and a half, like I was straight edge. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, and, but the thing was, oh, you told kids you were straight edge. You're like, I don't drink. No, man, no, I'm good. I'm- no. Just thought of being a kid. It's not like your first ten years of your life. You're like, fuck, playground, man. I need a drink. I mean, yeah. that's, it's just <laughs> not where your world is at. And the thing was, it's Pandora's box. Then once you catch a buzz, yeah. then it's just like, oh man, this is this other kind of living. And it's it's you know I I yeah I didn't understand that I was kind of using that as like a uh, I'm not saying I'm never gonna fucking drink again but I, I I had I had to like I kind of just had to like step back and just be like all right because you know the reality is I got a kid so I just didn't want to be that I'm like yeah you don't want to be drunk when your yeah, kids around my like fucking Lou Grant with a bottle of whiskey and the remember that on Mary Tyler Moore show no, she'd have a rough that. day and she'd come in and I don't you know, remember the whole show I can explain it to you yeah. If I can explain it to okay, you, <laughs> this fucking guy just ba- I don't know what that is. All right, no, I believe I it. I don't know. I don't know. And the second I started to explain, like I don't know the whole show. All right, fuck, I get it. I get it. I believe it's it. that comic ADD. Like I, I don't want to fuck. I'm not into it. I don't want to hear it. I got it. Your show. Go ahead. Continue. I, I remember. Uh, all right, let's talk about old shows then. I we re- don't have to. I just was. It was a funny how you fucking you bailed twice on that. You Patty made me, Duke. What about you made that? me feel like an asshole. Like that was the fifteenth oh, really time I fucking that. brought it up. <laughs> Sorry, no Mary Tyler Moore. One of the great ensemble fucking cast of all time. I do know she just died recently. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to bring up a more positive story about the show, but yeah, it's the second time. Oh, I bring man. up fucking George Michael. What was it, an AIDS event? Uh, some sort of gay thing? Well, I didn't say gay, bro. <laughs> but why did you say AIDS? Because he had AIDS, man. No, he didn't. Did he? I, Jesus I, Christ. No, he dude. didn't. Well, people have been saying he did. I think you are confusing it with gay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I didn't know he was gay. I knew that apparently he got AIDS in a park. That's what I heard. And no, was... he blew a guy in a porta potty and got busted for lewd activity. Oh. And then, you know, he, you know, had a little fucking, you know, he liked getting a little buzz at the end of the fucking day and maybe it got away from him. I think that's what happened. But like what I would like to focus on was how amazing his voice was and how talented he was. And I played and performed and stood in the same spot that this guy did. Yeah. That's what the point was. Not what he died of. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And I wish it was What happened in your life? Uh, Who'd you lose early on? You're really into death. Well, no. I mean, I remember listening. You don't want to get to know Mary Tyler Moore because you're afraid she's going to leave you too? (laughs) (laughs) 
I remember listening to uh, George Michael on the school bus when I would go to school. And okay. I felt like, and I would always sit by Did myself. Did you feel like you were going to catch AIDS no. by doing that? Some <laughs> sort of airborne <laughs> HIV through the fucking radio? I mean, bro, I was holding it up to my ear, you know? <laughs> I could feel my ass. In a roofless school bus. Right. One of the, the, the windborne radio aids was going to get me. <sighs> well, yeah, and also, like, there was no crumple zones back then. It was just the engine went into your chest. It's not like a fucking, you know, modern-day car where you can just hit shit and bounce. I mean, people still die, but I'm just saying, like, those... Yeah, like, you, you take... I'd rather die, I think. Yeah, you're in a... yeah. Like a yeah. fucking champion. Well, it depends. Know? It depends. Yeah, maybe like if it's a nice day, I would. If it's a fucking, if it's boiling out, I, I think well, I would. Well, it depends on what my injuries are going to be. All right, here we go. Let's get a lady. This is the here. first person wearing a shirt, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> That's our audience. All right. Hey, Bill. Hey, Theo. This is Marissa from Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, so, Bill, I heard you say on, I believe it was Joe Rogan's podcast, that you really like the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and you've seen it several times. And I know Theo said that he walked out halfway through it. Um, so I was just wondering maybe if you could talk about why you loved it so much and Theo, why you walked out halfway through it. Anyway, gang, gang. Well, this is where Bill and I don't talk anymore after this. No, no, I, if you didn't like it, you didn't <laughs> like it. I absolutely fucking loved it. I heard on your podcast you say that you loved it. Oh, my God. Dude, it's the best work uh, Leo's I mean, Brad Pitt's great. First time you watch it, I was just like, I want to be, like, Brad Pitt's the guy I want to be. Yeah. And then the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, my God, I'm just like Leo's character. I have an emotional <laughs> fucking mess. Well, I don't know what part you walked out in. But I walked out after they went to that house for the first time, after they met the old guy, and uh -huh. they were in the yard, and then his car was had a flat tire. Oh. And at that point, I was like, I got to get out of here. I don't know what these guys are doing. You know, I felt like it was just kind of a waste of, I don't know. It just, I couldn't get into it, and I didn't know what was going on. And it made me feel uncomfortable. I was like, I got to get out of here. Because I started to feel like everybody knows what's going on, and I don't know what's going on, you know, I guess. Yeah, that's that's for you and the therapist, buddy. Yeah. If that well, happens to you at the fucking movies. If you think the whole, fuck, movie, the whole movie theater gives a shit about whether... <laughs> no, I don't think were you make, Were you making, like, audible noises that you didn't... Huh? <laughs> Whoa? Oh? Oh, my God. That's the bro. only way they would know. Fuck, man. I didn't know I was so fucked up, man. You yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I really didn't. Though. You do. I didn't have the insider track, man. You do. I really didn't, though. <laughs> I really didn't, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to talk you into that masterpiece. It's one of my. I, it might be my favorite thing. That's he's what you done. said. That's unbelievable. Do you remember that show? Oh. Remember that movie, um, Dream Team? Probably one of the best movies ever. Remember Michael Keaton? How fucking brutal are those piano solos? For guys like you and me to sit, like when you see people in tuxedos, I was talking about on the podcast last week, people in tuxedos and they're sitting there and they're watching some dude on a violin or like a, a piano solo and they're making believe like they're into it. You're not into it. You cannot be into it. You can There's be, no but fucking like way. It's, it's the scene that you shouldn't be into. But listening to a, a musician playing any instrument at the top of their game, I could listen to that all day long. Oh, so I'm not going to sit there with ruffles on with a big fan right. fan myself. Right, and going, you know, like that I'm shit. I'm still going to dress were... like the end. Yeah, I'm going to take out my lighter. Yeah, like <laughs> you came out and said, if I listen to the guitar, the piano solo, I die, whatever the fuck. I was rolling when I saw that Monday morning. I lived for that shit. People oh, that don't know thing? that. The the Grammy thing. I was oh, fucking yeah. roll. Bill, you have just been the thing about the that they. That wasn't cancel. saying that was a bad piece of music. It no, was just a hell of a fucking thing to have to go like. That's the comedy thing, and like we're all out here because all those babies died, and we're gonna raise money tonight. All right, your first comedian. It's just like, dude, what the fuck? We know why we're here. You're killing me. Uh, well, you're in therapy. That's a good fucking thing. But yeah. The, you know, what I did find out with therapy is yeah. is if you're just going in there and emptying your brain every week, but you're not actually working on it, it's like it would be like sitting down and talking about working, working out. Working out with your trainer. Never going to the gym. No, so. I'm like 12-step program. I like do the whole deal, you know, okay. doing the whole thing. All right. It's like exercise. You got to do it every day. You release your resentments every night. I write out who I'm mad at and who I'm holding resentment towards on my little app. How's it working it's, out? You know, it's going pretty well. You are fucking wound tight. 
I, you I, are I, a fucking. They have, I, you know what? I never noticed. I don't think I hung out with you because we're always at the fucking store and we talk for like 10 minutes. Yeah. No. Yeah, I would not want to make you mad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, well, Ben did not just see it. I had a buddy of mine the other day. The other day, he's one of these guys all the time is saying, Bill, that's not, you know, that Trump isn't racist or fucking, you know, this, that, that thing where that guy went in and shot those, those Asian women, uh, or people at, 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 at the, at the, uh, massage bar. at the spa. Yeah. I don't think it was racially motivated. It's just like, I was just like, all right, all right. Dude. It's just like, do you understand how funny it is that you're going to tell a, a race of people that you're not what their feelings should be? <laughs> Like, I always love the white guys going, yeah, Trump isn't racist. It's just like, really? so somehow all of those black people are getting their own experience wrong day to day. But you as a white person who has never been them and had to deal with a white guy like that, you like you you have the inside scoop. And I think that, uh, that all people do that, including these so-called woke people. And Can I, I think- give you the prognosis of my asshole, though, first? I would love to know about the prognosis. Of your <laughs> I've, I've heard enough election talk. Let's talk about your rectum. <laughs> so, so I mention it, right? And they go, oh, you, we got to go to the doctor. I went over there today. And my, my, my doctor, Dr. Kawashiri, can I say his name? Okay. Well, you just did. Yeah, you well, did. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, 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 he's one of the best. Don't believe it. Okay, I'll, make, one it, of the I'll make it louder. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> they'll, that, maybe there's some promotion there mm. for him. Oh, maybe. good. Yeah. Maybe start Does he specialize in Asians? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, with a last name like that. You know what's weird? He could. <laughs> it, he could because I go to my doctor, Doctor O'Houlihan. <laughs> 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 he, he specializes in cirrhosis of the liver. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should switch it up. Yeah. Maybe I should get a black doctor or something. Yeah, it just yeah. it seems. Could yeah. you be a little more woke and maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. go to another race for your doctoring? <laughs> So, All right. So, so he goes. So he goes. Uh, I tell him the problem. He goes. Okay. So, um, Bobby, uh, did bend over. And and I, you know, I, I, I it, for I've never been like one to go. Are you sure mm-hmm, about yeah. bending over? Like I'm like you know me. I'm I I, I, I jump in. Mm-hmm. There's a party. I'll jump in. So I bend over, take my pants off, obviously, right? And what did you do first? Oh, that's oh. interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I think I fucking I just thought over. that was going to get a laugh. No, no, no. I no, thought no. it was a ridiculous <laughs> question. Josh, you're going to break it. He just no. goes, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> no, no. I but thought that was interesting. Gonna... You know, because... You... I can't believe no, you're going to answer this. A normal person would have take, taken the pants off first and then, then bent over. over yeah. But what you just a- a- said was, mm. I did bend over first <laughs> and then took my pants off. Wow. Of course Which you is- did. That's so fucking weird. Oh my yeah, yeah. gosh! And I bent over, and the, there was that 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 moment where the doctor goes, "You know what I mean?" Oh my god! What are you doing? Ah, right. And I go, "I know how it works. This is the way I do it." Right. So I bent over. Then I. It was- I like it. You made it weird back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I reversed it. You on took him. control of the weirdness. I like it. Now he's weirded out. Right. And he goes. What are you waiting for, big boy? 